Hey guys, it's Megan. Um, I saw a post from Anne regarding Hootsuite, and so I thought that I would try to do my best um, to cover uh, some of the things in Hootsuite. When you do finally get the hang of it, it's so super helpful. Um, so for me, I have a ton of groups at any given time, probably like six to eight groups. So this has been huge for me. I do tend to try to post personally if I can um, on the spot, but um, for the challenge groups especially, um, uh, and anything like um, if we do a coach training, I will uh, schedule those just for the ease of it. Um, also, if you're not going to be around, then this is a huge help to you um, if you're going to go on vacation or you're going away for the weekend or something like that. So uh, let me share my screen and try to get in this with you guys. Um, so this is my stream, uh, my news feed. So I've got a couple of different ways it's set up. This part isn't as important. I just wanted to start off on this first page for you guys. So over on the side here, you've got your different choices for um, um, different things to go into. And I actually just discovered some of this uh, myself playing around with it. And a lot of times that's just, you know, what's going to happen is if you're clicking around, you'll start to figure more things out. So um, if we click on the uh, owl at the top that is your main page, it brings you to your social networks. And here you can actually see all of my different groups. So I've got my personal Facebook group, my Twitter page is in here. This one is Google+, Plus, my LinkedIn. Then I've got you guys. I've got my Fit Club. I've got my Like page. Uh, this is a uh, networking group I belong to. And then I've got one, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight, not several, nine or ten uh, challenge groups going on. And so... Um, the 10 day challenge, for example, is something that I would set up and schedule for the 10 days and just never touch it again and just go back in and, and chat with them. So um, this is kind of your main page, if you will. And then what you can do to add groups or um, if it's just Facebook that we're dealing with at this point, you just click on add a social network and it brings you to this Dropbox. Um, if it's just Facebook we're talking about, you click on Facebook, you connect with Facebook, and if you're not already connected, you're just going to need to log in, and then it will bring up all of the groups that you belong to in it. So even though we don't maybe want to include, you know, Team on Fire and Team Dynamite and all that, um, this is where you'll see all those. I have tons of groups that I'm involved with, but I don't really necessarily care to have them on Hootsuite. Um, but the beauty is is that you can take away and add them as you need to. So um, uh, so for me, you'll see here that these different groups, Body Beast, my 10-day challenge, these are checked off. Um, some down for some of these are my challenge groups because they're already in here. Um, some of the other uh, training groups are in here too. They don't necessarily need to be in my feed. So really all that you do is you... Uh, choose one of your groups and you click the plus and a check mark comes up and you're all set um, to remove it you just click it again and it goes away and then you click on finish importing and it populates for you so now when I go in every day to make a challenge I, to schedule changes or or add uh, posts um, I usually use this publisher arrow here because it lets me see everything um, that I've got scheduled all of the time. So for example, I have 15 groups in here, including LinkedIn and Twitter. Um, and so you can actually see if you feed, feed down today, these are all the posts that I have that are going to go out today. And then these are all the posts that are going to go out tomorrow for all my groups. 
So what I'll do is I'll filter, like let's say I'm going to just work on my personal page today. Um, I'm going to clear all these out and I'm just going to click on my personal Facebook page. So now it filtered. These are the only four posts that are going to go out on my personal page today. And it's just easier for you to see that um, when you're, you know, looking to schedule groups. Um, so let's just say, for example, I want to schedule um, uh, a post to go out tonight. I think the only slot I had left was 8.30 tonight. So let's say I'm going to write um, a question. Um, what's for dinner? And I will pull up the calendar. Today is the 25th. It's 8.30 p.m. And I come over here and make sure that I click on my personal page, Megan Anderson Facebook, and click on schedule, and that's it. And so it comes in this list at the bottom because it's the last post of the day, and that's it. Um, so then uh, let's say you want to schedule your challenge groups. Um, you know, again, I clear this out because I have so many groups and it seems confusing to me. Um, so I'll clear it out and then I'll filter by, um, you know, let's just use the committed to be fit challenge group because you guys all know that. So you can actually see that I have, um, usually they just go out five o'clock in the morning every day. Um, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> So this one, actually, I can see that there's an error that is scheduled for 1.25 p.m. on Mondays, and that must have just been an error on my part. So I'm actually just going to edit that real quick before I forget. Um, go into scheduling. Monday is when I want it to go out, but I want it to go out at 5 a.m. and save changes. So now you can see our committed to be fit group will get, I have it scheduled up to Tuesday. I usually work on them every weekend. I'll either do them on Saturday or Sunday and I schedule them up to Tuesday unless I know I'm going somewhere and then I'll schedule them for two weeks. Um, but any more than that, I feel like it's overwhelming because I have so many groups going on. So it works for me to schedule them out a week in advance. Okay, so um, here is where you compose your message. Here is where you add your group. You'll see them here. Um, after you've imported them, um, and so you may, step one is to create your message, step two is to add your group, um, step three is to schedule the time, step four is to schedule it, and it cannot be empty, I understand that. So, um, the biggest thing is to, first and foremost, add your groups, and then secondly, schedule the groups. Um, so, I really hope that that is um, helpful to you guys. Um, I know that it's just a huge time saver. Um, it's just one of those things that you have to practice with. Um, also, go into YouTube and, and search for um, how-to videos on Hootsuite. There's tons of that stuff. There's also trainings on here. If you click on Help, it'll bring you into Hootsuite Help. And you can either go into the forums or you can go into some of the um, trainings and webinars that they have quick start guide, things like that. So um, if you're struggling or you're having issue, um, let me know. But, you know, Google is your best friend. And um, YouTube for how-to videos and things of that nature. So um, to, you know, find out anything that you're looking for, you're struggling with, um, search for it. Uh, you can find pretty much any answer that you want on the Internet these days. So... Um, I hope that helps, and um, let me know if you have any questions. See ya.